Michael's pocket money has increased by 10%. He now receives $33. How much pocket money was Michael receiving originally? So here, yeah, we want to find the original amount. So this is the increased amount. This is not the original amount. This is the increased amount. Okay, so what does this mean? This sentence is a crucial sentence. This sentence means Michael's pocket money has increased by 10%. What does that mean? This means if he was getting $100, now he is getting $110. Currently he is getting. So if his original pocket money was $100, he is getting 10% more. That means he is getting $110. So I'll make it... I'll write this as a ratio. Uh, ultimately, this will become like this. If he was getting $100, now he is getting $110. So if he was getting X dollars, I don't know what that X is. So let me, instead of X, uh, let me put instead of X, let me make it. It's a pocket money, say P. If it was P, he is getting $33 now. So this is nothing but an example of ratio. So the ratio of this is equal to the ratio of this. So I can say 100 over P is equal to 110 over 33. So uh, this is 100 over P. Let me simplify this. Can I write this as 11 times 10 over 11 times 3? Okay, so this 11 and this 11 gets cancelled. So, uh, this is 100 over P is equal to 10 over 3. Now you can cross multiply. So, this and this can be multiplied. This is called cross multiplying. And this and this can be multiplied. So, it's like a butterfly hook. This and this can be multiplied. Okay, so this is 100 times 3 is 100 times P, sorry, is equal to 10 times P. I'll explain why you can cross multiply. So this is 300, so 100 times or 10 P. Oh, let me delete this. So can I write, this implies 300 is equal to 10 P. If you divide this side by 10, you have to divide this side by 10. So this implies P is equal to $30. So his original amount was $30. Now one of the common mistakes that students make is you take 10% of this and then you think that you get the original amount. No, if you take 10%, say 10%, just to explain a common error, say 10% of 33 is $3.30 or 3.3 .3. and if you take 3.3 .3 from this you will not get 30 okay so that's a common mistake so let's check our answer this is also a good step to learn so he was getting $30 and he got 10% more so what is 10% of 30 10% of 30 is $3 okay and 30 plus 3 is 33 so your answer is right now I told you I'll explain this suppose how can you cross multiply suppose let us make it a ratio say two quarters is same as three sixths because both of them are half so you can cross multiply this implies two times six is equal to three times four so this is what I it means to cross multiply these two numbers can be multiplied and that will be equal to the product of these two numbers. So let us look at one more example. Jack is flying to Brisbane for his holidays. His bag is too heavy, so he reduced the mass by 25%. And his bag and his bag now has a mass of 21 kg. What is the original mass of the of his bag? So here again, 25% is reduced. So if, if it was 100 kgs. If it was 100 kgs, it has reduced by 25%. That means it has become 75 kg. So if it was x kg, 
this is the original amount now it has become 21 kg so the ratio of this the ratio of this is equal to the ratio of this so this implies 100 over x is equal to 75 over 21 so let's cross multiply uh, so that is 100 times 21 is equal to x times 75 so I want to find x so what should I do I want to get rid of the 75 so I'm going to divide this side by 75 so to divide this side by 75 so this 100 let me change color this 100 can I write this as 25 times 4 times 21 over 21 times 25 times is equal to x so this 75 and 75 gets cancelled 25 and 25 gets cancelled so this this again 4 times 21 I can write as 3 times 7 over 3 is equal to x so this 3 and 3 gets cancelled so x is 28 kgs so he started with 28 kgs and then he found it was too heavy so let's check our answer does the answer make sense and that's one question you should always ask once you get the answer so this is the checking and this is the most vital part of learning so he started with 28 kgs he reduced 25 percent and the question is and it says it had 21 kgs so what is 25 percent so 25 percent is nothing but a quarter so what's a quarter of 28 so quarter is half of a half so half is 14 so quarter is 7 kgs and does it make sense 28 kgs minus 7 kgs is equal to 21 kgs